How are we doing? Got, I've got another unboxing. I've got a new tent. Um, what, 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 what I'm looking to do with the, I've got the prayer arches tent, which I had in the, in the last video. Um, again, trying to veer away from the Lanshan purely because it's very popular, the Lanshan, you know, everyone, if, if you go on YouTube, there's, there's loads and loads of videos on how to set it up, um, one year reviews, what mods people have done. So I'm just looking at the alternatives that are out there at the moment. Um, this one, I'm looking at trying to do a, a budget tent for someone who is just starting out to show you that you don't need to spend loads of money, you know. We're, we're in uncertain times, so I'm hoping this tent um, could be a viable option for people on on a very small budget or just really, really tight. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at what we got. So here we are. This in here is a French Army F2 tent. So I've now um, taken it out of the packaging. Um, I haven't got a tripod with me at the moment, so I'm just doing this freehand. So let's, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a... I'm going to flick you... Now that is what you get with the tent. So you can see you've got your poles there. There's your pegs or tent stakes. She tent itself and there is the the uh, stuff sack. Now, I've got the uh, tape measure out. You can see that that is 70 centimetres long, the stuff sack. So it's, uh, it's rather generous. My aim with this is try and get the weight down. I'm going to put a little um, picture up of the weight which is 2.78 kilo at the moment. I'm going to uh, weigh each piece now individually and we'll see how we can bring that weight down um, to something that's that's fairly reasonable, and and yeah, we, we, we're going to modify it slightly to make it uh, very very simplistic to put it up, and to make it a lot lighter than what it is now. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll bring you back and show you what I've done. So we've had another delivery, which is uh, quite exciting. Um, essentially it is another French F2 tent, um, this time in the green. Let me just flip you around. There we go. There you can see it. I'll stick a little photo up now with the, uh, packet as it was delivered on the scales, which is coming in at 2.7. So we'll see what we can do with this. Um, essentially... This is the one that I will be keeping and doing um, most of my camping in. So I've uh, I've taken the um, the contents of the tent out of the stuff sack, which I'll show you now. So there we have it again. Um, the main tent, the poles. The tent stakes or pegs and the stuff sack. Um, the sizes are exactly the same as the desert tents, which I showed you first. So now you will see some little pictures of the items separately on the scales, um, which will give you an idea of the breakdown. And we'll see where we can lose some weight. So, what I've done there is I've taken the, um, the pegs or tent stakes out of the, uh, the little bag with the guy lines. And 
you can see why that this is quite heavy to start Actually for you round so there's the uh, the bag there's the guy lines but look at that 17 of these bad boys big blobs of weld on the top look so yes the first thing I'm gonna do is change those for some proper lightweight good pegs so that's what we had in the um, original bag which was one kilo I think there's there's a photo and just by swapping out to these which I had out of another tent uh, I can't think which one for the life of me now we're gonna take a lot of weight out just by doing that so we'll see how they go Here we are, camp's just round the corner. It's great to be back out in the woods. So here we are, um, managed to get down the woods. We've got the desert. Um, French Army F2 Commando and the Olive uh, tent exactly the same. So we're going to set them up now and we'll, uh, we'll bring you back. I'll probably do this as a little time lapse uh, just to save time and then we'll show you around the tent. So here's the tent side by side. We've got uh, Paul modelling the desert one today. Here we go. Hello. Paul's six foot, you say? Yeah, yeah. And if I come in, you can see his feet are at the bottom. And you've got what, six inches? Yeah, yeah, six inches. There's plenty of space there. I mean, you could easily get two in and you wouldn't be cuddling. No. So that's, that's quite impressive. You can see the vents on the side, which you can Velcro up or down. You got the vents at the top end. And if I let this go, look, you can see there's a mesh in on this. So plenty of ventilation within the tent. Just, uh, 
looking at the different materials, that seems a lot more durable and heavier than the desert one. Uh, what was the weight of the two? It's much different. What um, I can't think right now. What I'll do is I'll pop the pictures back up now of the uh, of the weights of the two. I don't think there was a great deal of difference in it, if I'm being honest. That just seems a lot more robust. Let me see. And that's a nice thick. You know, you could put it through some abuse, and that'll that'll last you. It will. Yeah. What like this? My, my first impressions. I'm very very impressed. Now, from what I've seen, Paul. On this top here, on this ridge line, that needs to be seam sealed. If you get any big, big downpours, yeah. apparently that there is a weak point. Right. And if we can come in, I don't know whether it's going to pick it up. Down there, you can just see in the stitching where the stitching's stretching a touch. So I am also going to seam seal each corner. And again, it's got the vents on the side. Which, which goes a good way down. Same on that side. Door at either end that's got the mesh vents at the top of each door. And if I can just come in over here. Can you see that? This one was produced in 93. Nice. Tell you what, these are absolutely massive inside. So for the setup you can see you've got the one, so you've got one peg there, peg in the corner and on the outside, the space for a peg there, exactly the same there, you've got one in the middle, look and there's also, if I can see it, there you go, the ring there. Now the, the, the olive green one has got a door at either end, whereas the desert one hasn't, it's only got the door at the far end. So there's Camp Vostin. Got the shoot up, the fire on, Paul making the brew, Paul's hammock, and then beyond that we've got the uh, the two French Army F2 commando tents. Want to get a brew on, Paul? Oh, lovely. I'll put the kettle on. So here, we've sealed some diced chicken, we've added mushroom soup, um, a big lump of Stilton, um, some vegetable mix which has got leeks, carrots, potatoes, onion and we've added some spring onion. This is going to be a nice meal. What do you reckon Paul? Lovely, it looks nice. Present in the tray.